So this is how you level up. That's how you level up. Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. You can be world-class. You can fit in with the world. You don't get to do both. One thing I've learned is everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? It's not better to be safe than sorry. Step out and bet on yourself. You're the surest thing in the world. Quit asking other people if they think you can do it. What they think has got nothing to do with you. Your dream is possible. Not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's possible for you to live your dream as you run toward it, but I've done something that I want to share with you called choosing your future. It's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life, people who don't want anything. People who are not striving, people who are not challenging themselves, people who aren't growing, people who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry, people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. My mother used to say, birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with losers, you will end up a loser. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. Count on me. Count on me to be everything you need when you need me. Count on me to be your backbone. Count on me to be your strength. Count on me to be there for you when no one else is. Who am I? I'm you. I'm every version of you. I'm every part of you. I'm every part of your being. I'm the reflection in the mirror. I'm the one that looks back when you tells you that you are more than what you keep imagining. I'm the one that keeps telling you that it's possible for you. I'm the one that tries to tell you to do things and dare, and then you talk yourself out of it by believing your fears are louder than your faith. The people that win in life don't necessarily have more vision than you. See, it's not a lack of vision always that means that you are going to lose. It's a lack of a type of vision, which is depth perception. You think you're further away from the outcome, and so you pace yourself like it, and you jog all the time throughout your life. The people that win may have a bigger vision, but they have accurate depth perception. They understand how close their goals are, how close their outcome is, and they're constantly in a sprint to get there throughout their day. That means consequently, they get started earlier and they finish later. They get up earlier throughout the day. They're in a bigger hurry to get to the places they need to be because the finish line in their mind is so much closer. Blaming others is excusing yourself. Here is a huge idea. Everything that terrifies you is your doorway into possibility. Everyone who comes into your life that activates an ancient wound is a spiritual professor. The people who have broken your heart are the very people who have come into your life to open your heart. People can make up a mission statement, an ethos in which they want to live by. And every morning you wake up, you hold yourself accountable to that mission. That accompanies your own. Make up your own mission statement. What do you want to be in life? 
And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. You'll never stand for anything. You have to believe that there is everything you need inside of your toolkit, inside of your heart. It's in there. The ability to get over brokenness, it's in there. The ability to believe again, it's in there. You gotta be able to count on you when no one else does. You have to begin there because in order for others to believe in you, you must show them that you believe in you. You have to believe. You can count on you. And not only do you count, but when you begin to count, you'll see that you're worth way more than you ever imagined. You're worth more than dollars and cents. You're worth eternity. You're worth everything that you can calculate up and then some. When you go get to a point where you say, you know what? Man, I wasn't just created just to live average. I wasn't just created to live broken. I wasn't just created to just go through the motions. I wasn't just created to be a watcher. I wasn't created just to be a wisher. I was created to be something greater. And I know it's hard to believe when it's in your storm. How do I know? Because I was that same person. Don't be finished. Be starting. Be alert, be ready, be attacking, be relentless. And when your feelings are screaming that you've had enough, and when you think you're gonna break emotionally, you gotta override that emotion with the concrete logic and willpower that says, you know what? Don't stop.